yo, this dude, this man straight up has a tattoo that just says good boy with chicken scratch through the good. Oh, he's not a good boy anymore. He's so edgy, so brooding and deep. You're afraid of dying. How do you know? You've never tried it before. Yeah, I'm not thrilled about this. Uh, I was never too thrilled about this. The Crow is tied for my favorite movie of all time. It is a masterpiece, obviously shrouded in uh, tragedy with what happened to uh, Brandon Lee. Of course, I'm talking the original Crow. The sequels, there are one or two of the sequels that I actually like. But um, the original Crow, based on you know the first adaptation of James Hilfar's novel, graphic novel, is is a masterpiece, and I didn't think there was any reason to remake it. I think there is a good reason it was stuck in production hell for decades. But I was, you know, I was always open to it. It's not like I, I don't think I didn't think there's any way it would be good. I don't think there's any way it'll stack up against the original. But I don't think, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't in the frame of mind that this is definitely going to be bad. We got news last week about a freaking a release date. We got some images, and as soon as I saw those images, I'm like, oh yeah, this is fucked. This is going to be fucked. Uh, and then I heard what the director said after the images, and he said something along the lines of, I want 19-year-olds to watch this and think, oh, that guy's me. That's stupid. It's fucking stupid. That's not what... That's not what the crow is. And I'm not 19, obviously. Here's the thing, though. If you are 19, let me know in the comments. When you see this guy, this Eric Draven, it's not Eric Draven. When you see this guy, do you, do you see, as a 19-year-old, do you go, yeah, I see myself in him with the tattoos and the, the freaking weird-ass mullet and looking like an after-school detention desk drawing pad. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the trailer here. Go. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. That fucking Joker look. You feel like my person? You feel like my person. What's the worst thing you've ever done? I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of them. Okay. This is... Joey! This is how the, you know, this is how the story goes. And then the crow brings him back to life. And he becomes an dies, Avenger. A crow carries a soul to the land of the dead. There you go. Sometimes something so bad happens. No, man. That the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. What is this fucking Joker haircut? You were given the power of a god. Oh, what is this? But you're running out of time to save her. I'm gonna kill them. Every single one of them. I like Danny Houston. I killed you. Yeah, you did. We have a problem. He came for us. First impulse. What is that makeup? Anger. Some of the visuals aren't bad. I give it that. But. It's love. Yeah. Like what you become. You know that love promises only pain. Like you already have a great you know story. No, I do. How many people have you 
Based on the comic book series by James Abar. Some of the visuals don't look bad. I'll give it that. It's going to be weird to say it, it looks... It's stylized the wrong way. Like, if you watch the original Crow, like, it's it's stylized, but it's gothic. It's dark, gritty. And this feels like teenagers that want to be dark and gritty but they're really not and I, I think this is my biggest problem right now with this movie is it has no reason for existing there's not some new revolutionary thing that it can that, that it's trying to do um and, and if you're a remake i think you got to justify your existence even more so than a normal movie um uh, you know it's not trying to tell a bigger better story it's not trying to do something revolutionary it's literally just saying hey let's make the exact same movie for a new audience this is obviously a trailer so you can't judge it too harshly but you know the tone from the first one completely gone this has this doesn't have any of the tone from the original it looks violent cool if that's the best you can do is bring more violence and dumb the tone down for a new modern audience it, um, i'm not you know not really interested like i said the, the the tone from the original the dark gothic tone the feeling the vibe if you will that it gave off is it's just not there in this one um and oh uh, it was part of the appeal of the first one it, this is a trailer so i can't judge it too harshly uh and, and here's the thing the cool you know, visuals that you get in this trailer could be the only good thing about it. Because as we know from, from many, many things recently, you can cut together a really good trailer from a really bad movie. With that being said, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Are you going to go see it in theaters? Are you going to wait for streaming? Um, how do you feel about it? With that, I love you all. Have a great, safe week. Oh. I hate goodbyes. <laughs> Mmm!